Welcome to Authentic English Podcast, your weekly show where education meets recreation. Here's your host with 20 years plus of teaching experience, Marcia Pike. Marcia Pike here. Welcome back to another authentic English podcast episode. Today's show is brought to you by Audible. Want to get a free audiobook download and a 30 day free trial? You, authentic English podcast listener and viewer, can. Just go to audibletrial.com slash authentic English. There are over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. I'm going to add the link to the show notes, okay? So let's get to today's show. Today's episode is part two of last week's show, vocabulary related to sexual harassment and assault. If you still haven't tuned into that episode, please go back and tune in right now, okay? Well, in today's show, I'm going to focus on the structure which was commonly used in the articles I've read. Let's dive into an ABC News extract about Donald Trump. According to ABC News, at least 16 women have accused Donald Trump of varying inappropriate behavior, including allegations of sexual harassment or assault, all coming forward with their accusations before or during his bid for the White House. One of those 16 has spoken out again recently about her claims, prompting a new denial from Trump. Trump has vehemently denied all of the women's accusations. In some cases, he and his team members have specifically denied individual accusations, but they have also repeatedly issued blanket denials against all the allegations, calling the women liars. Let's explore the following. At least 16 women have accused. One of those 16 has spoken out. Trump has denied. He and his team members have denied, and they have issued. The verb tense that is used in these examples is the present perfect. Let's analyze the structure for this verb tense. Subject plus have for I, you, we, or they, or has for he, she, or it, plus the past participle. Note that the focus in these examples is a subject, who or what is doing the action. Let's say the same examples from a different perspective. Let's analyze two examples from the ABC News article. Example number one. At least 16 women have accused Donald Trump. At least 16 women is the subject. Have accused are the verbs and Donald Trump is the object of the sentence. Let's suppose we want to shift the focus from the women who have made the accusations to Donald Trump. The sentence would then be, Donald Trump has been accused by at least 16 women. Note that the focus is now Donald Trump. Example number two. Trump has denied all of the women's accusations. Trump is the subject. Has denied are the verbs and all of the women's accusations is the object of the sentence. Let's suppose we want to shift the focus from Trump to the accusations. The sentence would then be, all of the women's accusations have been denied. Note that the focus is now all of the women's accusations. Not always do we need to specify by whom. However, if you wish to specify, you would say by Trump. The sentences Donald Trump has been accused by at least 16 women and all of the women's accusations have been denied are both in the passive voice. As the verb tense in these sentences is the present perfect, these sentences are in the present perfect passive. Let's analyze the structure of the passive voice in the present perfect. Have or has plus been plus the past participle. USA Today has surveyed 843 women who work in the entertainment industry in a variety of roles such as producers, actors, writers, directors, editors, and others, and asked them about their experience with sexual misconduct. Shockingly, 94% of these women have said they've experienced some kind of sexual harassment and assault. Let's explore some extracts from this survey. 
Note how the focus of these sentences is the women who have suffered abuse. Therefore, the present perfect passive is used. As stated in USA Today, more than one-fifth of respondents, 21%, say they have been forced to do something sexual at least once. 69% say they've been groped, slapped, pinched, or brushed in a sexual way at least once. And 64% say they have been propositioned for sex or relationship at least once. A small but significant number, 10% of the women in the survey, say they have been forced to appear naked unexpectedly during auditions or in the course of their professional work at least once. If you still haven't tuned in to episodes 5 and 8, please go back and tune in to them for a thorough explanation about the present perfect and the passive voice. If you want to go the extra mile, please email me at marcia at authenticenglishpodcast.com to get a free transcript of today's episode. I'm going to add the articles I've read and used in the show notes, okay? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you'll get a notification when a new video comes out, okay? If you know anyone who will also benefit from today's content, please share it with them. Sharing is caring. Well, I hope you have an amazing week listening to your free audiobook from Audible. Take care. Great having you with us today. Keep on with Marcy on social media. Head over to AuthenticEnglishPodcast.com to practice what you've just learned. And subscribe, rate, and review. Take care. <laughs>